Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on creating a drawing of a 3D object and putting some dimensions in. Okay, so we're going to be working with um, the object that we've already drawn, 4.4. So we're going to open that up. Okay, so we always want to basically start, you know, typically we're going to do a 3D part, right, which is an extrusion and, and like these parts. And then we'll create drawings from these parts, okay? So two-dimensional drawings versus like a 3D model here. So when we look back at this activity, which I'll have this is, um, in the assignment for today as well, we can see the dimensions on the drawing and we can see like the isometric and, and we can start setting things up. And right now I'd really suggest like copy the dimensions that are given to you like make things easy right but we need to really start thinking about where these dimensions come from too so let's talk about dimensioning a little bit here um at the end of dimension lines we have arrows these arrows are so small in this drawing that they're very difficult to actually see but the arrows point to what are called extension lines okay and i've mentioned extension lines before but extension lines come down and they stop just short of the object itself and they will define like where the dimensions begin and end. So for instance, this is six inches from this end of the object all the way through here to this end of the object, right? So that's six inches. That's the length of the object. The depth of the object, which again, we can see the depth in the top, um, is three inches from here to here. It also shows us up here like the distance to the angle piece it shows us down here how high that angle piece is how high the overall object is in the front it shows us the length of this piece here and in the side it shows us the depth of this piece here right and i say length because it's going left to right here and i say depth because it's going from the front to the back there. okay so we're going to create a drawing that looks a lot like this in um classroom here let's not classroom or studio okay so in order to create a drawing just like before when we were creating multiple files within the same document we're going to click the plus button instead of now selecting a part studio we're going to say create a drawing okay so um on shape is going to start off i think looking like this for you guys okay so um we have an ANSI A inch and an ANSI A portrait inch. These are going to be the two main um, drawings we look at. ANSI A inch is going to be a, um, a landscape-based drawing where the sheet is sideways. And A is like a typical printer size sheet of paper. Eight and a half by 11 is a size A sheet. Um, a portrait is going to be where it stands upright. But again, they're going to be either A sideways, just like this, or A portrait up and down. So this one we're going to do um, A sideways, and we're going to say no view. So when you come into this document, it's going to automatically say like, oh man, there's a part studio associated in this drawing. And it's going to want to bring that stuff up right from the get-go. Now one thing here that it's done is it's selected parts. We really want the whole part studio. Okay, so we can select part studio up here and now we should be able to see this whole object and like these things underneath of that object produce it but we're going to hide those and we're just going to select the part studio itself okay so when we go to drop this stuff down here we're going to drop the front view there which that's going to be its first view we're going to bring this up because it's directly above we're going to drop our top view above and notice like this thing is just doing it itself if we come to the top here, again, there's insert view, which is the same thing that we did before. If I click on insert, I can now select a part studio and select that and bring that in again. We already have it. We just need to now project the rest of our views. So we're going to select project views, which is a P. And I'm going to select this view by clicking on it, and I'm going to project it to the right to project its right view. I'm also going to take this view and I'm going to project it to the top right corner to project its isometric view. 
Okay, so you can already hopefully start to see the advantage to 3D modeling. Like producing drawings is super easy once you've made your parts. You know, and right now parts might take you a little while, but like once you get the hang of this, making parts is really quick too. So this is like a fast process once you get pretty good at it. So a couple of things we're going to need to do here. Again, we're going to add dimensions, but I also want to add the scale and the title and all that stuff. So let's start off with scale and title. So if we select the main thing that we started with, which again is a front view, and if I double click on this, it tells me what the scale is. It's one half scale right now, which is pretty important because that's going to fit on our sheet. I just want to be able to have you guys turn on scale label, and that'll just give you what the scale is, and we can click check. Okay, and like you can move that around. So that's going to be the scale of our object, and I'm wondering. It doesn't really, oh, there's a scale two down here. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, cool. The other thing that we're going to need is a title. Okay, so we're going to select this top bin, and I'm going to double click on it. Now I can type in here. Okay, so this is 4.4 isometric bracket, B-R-A-C-K-E-T bracket, and I'm going to hit check. Okay, and that drops that in there. Um, and then you can also see it says like who it was drawn by. And in my case, it's drawn by me. So anyways, we're going to add some dimensions now. And again, look back at like what's there. And for right now, you can just reproduce it. Okay, and we're going to like talk more about specifics as we go along further here. But realistically, we want to try and group all of our lengths together, all of our depths together, and all of our heights together if possible, but it's not always possible. So right now we're just going to like copy this here. So yeah, we're going to come 4.4 and we're going to select the dimension tool, which is still D for dimension. So like for instance, the length here is six inches. The depth of this object, which they have over here like this, um, which will be fine for right now. They also have like between here and the point. So sometimes you want to select like a whole line. Sometimes you want to select a point, you know, you, and you definitely want to be careful about what it is that you're selecting and where. You can also see that like I really don't want this to be like a on my object or in my object still. I want it to be like outside of my object. So I'm going to bring this to be out here. I'm also going to dimension between here and here and I can bring that like down there and honestly like it being here is fine because it's not in the object if I hit escape and I'm out of that tool now I can slide this thing around too this right here is also fine I don't really want it here though because the arrow is in the way of the object okay so um, the other thing I could do is I could move my dimension out to here which this is even better I can say, okay, here's my dimension now. It's an inch from there to there. Same thing with the top. Like instead of that three inches being down there, reference that three inches up there. Try and group my dimensions together better, okay? Grouping dimensions is helpful. So we can go through and dimension again down here. I can dimension like, let's say, to the top of this box. And I can say, okay, that's one inch to there. You can also say the overall height of this object is two inches. Okay. Again, I've already dimensioned all of the length information. Um, I've already dimensioned, I'm pretty sure, all the depth information. So let's just double check the drawing and like, let's see here. So let's see. It says one inch and two inches. Oh, I am missing maybe some stuff. One inch, two inches, that's good. The thing that I am missing is like, what's the length of this thing here? I definitely don't have that information, so I want to drop that in. I also don't have this information between here and here, which again is the depth information. Again, that right there. Now let's say that your dimension does not fit, which sometimes like your dimension will get squeezed in here, okay? So if that's the case, then you can actually, after you've like dropped your dimension in place, and hit escape so that you're not in the tool. Click on the um, number itself, and now you can move it to like outside of your arrows. Now this means that between this arrow and this arrow, inside of there's an inch. It's the same thing as this here. It's the same sort of piece, but like let's say that this was three quarters of an inch. That three quarters would not fit in here, 
and then you would need to like move it to the side. So again, that all looks pretty good. So when we check our drawings, we want to check to make sure that the dimensions are accurate. We want to check that we have the scale listed. We want to check to make sure we have the um, the 4.4, like whatever the name is listed. And then we're going to print a PDF of this document. Okay, and we're going to actually attach this in classroom as an actual assignment. So in order to print a PDF, we're going to come up to the document menu and we're going to say print. Now, one thing that's going to happen on this is on your machine, it's going to say something like um, you need to allow pop ups. In that dialog box that comes up, it'll be towards the top of your sheet, say like always allow on shape pop ups or something to that effect um, so that you can always print your documents out. OK, and we're not actually printing this, we're but we're going to go to the printing symbol. And under destination, you're going to want to click save as PDF. And we're going to click save. And within here, someplace, you know, maybe it's under your pictures, maybe it's like in your DDE folder, maybe it's even in Google Cloud or like in your um, Google Drive. You're going to go through and you're going to save this. And again, this is going to be like 4.4 isometric. Okay, I'm going to save that. I'm going to click save. And now if I go to my pictures, here's my isometric bracket PDF. Okay, so again, this is my drawing here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go into classroom and you're going to open up the assignment which this assignment number, I believe, is 4.6. So you're going to open up 4.6. And instead of just hitting the turn in button, you're going to go to the top right and you're going to say, like, attach a file. And you're going to attach this, attach this PDF file to it. Then you're going to hit the share button with me. I like the turn in button with me. And I'm going to check your assignment from there. Make sure that... Um, things are good. Okay. You're also going to work on dimensioning up um, 4.3 next. Okay, so again, I might suggest opening up that drawing and going through the process of dimensioning those. You're going to then attach that also um, to the next assignment, which is going to be 4.7. 4.7. Okay. Um, and like always, if you have questions, email me or talk to me in class along the way, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. So today you've learned how to open up an old drawing, how to create, or an old part rather, how to create a drawing from that part, how to dimension that drawing how to put your um, scale and the name of the drawing in, and also how to print that drawing and ultimately share it with me in Google Classroom. Okay, again, you're gonna be working on creating a drawing now for 4.3 next, and that will also be turned into me um, after you're done with this. Okay, sounds good. I hope everybody has a great day, and good luck with this. Let me know if you have some questions. Bye-bye.